Okay, I'm gonna show you this video of 10 products you'll never buy again knowing how they're made. You know, when you live in the land of devils, you can best believe they are gonna tamper with everything they can and not for the good of humankind just because they are evil and they have access to these things and can do it. You know, this is what happens when evil owns everything and we're going out with our hard earned money and paying for these products on the market, not knowing how far these devils will go to tamper with food. It really does pay to grow a garden. I, I've been growing a garden probably for several years now. And when I was growing up, my dad was the gardener in the house. So I'm used to always having something growing out in the backyard. Um, and, and my father showed me how to garden. But if you can try to grow something, even if it's nothing but a tomato plant, you can grow those indoor. Um, it, as long as you have like a window that gets plenty of sunlight, you can grow a tomato plant and have tomatoes year round. And those things are very difficult to kill. That's what one thing about a tomato plant, they're pretty adorable. They hold up quite well. But we're going to go ahead and watch this video and just be cautious in your everyday life with what you do and what you eat because they have poisoned the air. We are touching things with our bare hands that got pork products in it and we don't even know. Um, it's just so many disastrous things going on right now. And whenever they do something you can always know in the back of your mind there's a hidden agenda and the intentions are never good that's one thing we know for sure all right let's go ahead and roll this video hey everybody how's it going extreme trends here and welcome to the top 10 products you will never buy again knowing how they are made number 10 vanilla and raspberry flavoring now there's no denying that many of us love ice cream especially the many different flavors but there's a pretty good chance you will never have ice cream again specifically vanilla strawberry and raspberry flavors once you know how they are made and it's not just limited to ice cream any food with those flavors because these flavoring contains something called castorium before going on you should know what exactly castorium is and why it is a problem to put it bluntly castorium is the secretion of brown slime that comes from the castor glands of a beaver's anus when mixed in with a little bit of beaver urine it becomes one of the core ingredients in achieving the flavor that tastes of vanilla raspberry and strawberry the funny part is the use of castorium has actually been deemed the same by the Food and Drug Administration calling this substance non-toxic to taste and non-toxic to skin. The icing on top of the cake though is that castorium has been used for the last 80 years and has been listed under quote-unquote natural ingredients in the list of ingredients for flavorings. Number nine, McDonald's apple pie. McDonald's is usually delicious. Who can forget the great taste in Big Macs and McFlurries at McDonald's? Also, let's not forget their apple pies, which is the food of American pastimes. Sweet and tasty, especially when it's hot. But we have never stopped to wonder exactly how these apple pies are made and what exactly goes into them apart from apples and sweet sauce. Well, the answer is L-cysteine. L-cysteine is basically an amino acid that, although not not necessary for adults, it is very important for the consumption by infants. It is also a key ingredient used in making apple pies. What's wrong with it, you may ask? Well, it is the way that it's made. L-cysteine is made through the process of hydrolysis, which core ingredients include feathers of ducks and hog hair, and in some cases, it is also rumored that it consists of human hair. The ingredients are bonded together with water to achieve a liquid that is used in the apple pie to give it a great taste. What makes it worse is that the use of l has been banned in the European Union, but not the United States, where it is still used in large quantities. 
Number eight, beer. It's time to crack open a cold one with the boys on this spot. Beer is the third most consumed beverage in the world after tea and water, and none of us have even wondered what beer contains. Apart from alcohol, there is another secret ingredient that is used to make the beer finer. That ingredient is called Isinglass. What's Isinglass, you may ask? Well, in short, Isinglass is essentially the extracts of dried fish bladders. It may seem weird, but it's common practice to use this ingredient for beer especially to make beer and even some wines more clear to look at. Guinness has gone on to state that they have been using the ingredient in their beers for over 250 years and have just now began to reduce their use of isinglass in their beers. Some might make some people think twice about picking up a beer next time round. Number seven, red food dye. Red velvet cupcake, Starbucks strawberry frappuccino, and red strawberry candies. What do all of these have in common? Well, not only are they delicious, but they use red food dye, which is made out of bugs. Specifically, the cochineal scale, which contains an acid in its stomach that is used to get the bright color of red food dye. These bugs are crushed, and when the crushed powder is mixed with water, it creates a strong red dye that we consume on a regular basis. You'll be surprised by the number of things that include cochineal scale in its ingredients. Things like yogurt, juices, and even pink pastries all include these crushed bugs. It's the main ingredient that provides the color and taste to these items. In 2012, it was revealed that Starbucks was using the crushed cochineal bugs in its strawberry frappuccino, which caused an absolute outrage. It is still used today and has been deemed safe by the Food and Drug Administration. You can find it in the ingredients section under these names, carmine, cochineal, extract and natural red four. Number six, chewing gum. Throughout history, mankind has been chewing on all manners of different plants and roots like we do nowadays with gum. The ancient Greeks used to chew gum made from the bark of the mastic tree. South Americans used to chew on the leaves of the coca plant, which is used to make cocaine. It was in the 1860s that a pharmacist called John Colgan created the first flavored chewing gum called Taffy Tulu. Today, there are several popular brands of chewing gum, such as Trident, Eclipse, and Orbit, all competing with one another for the privilege of finding their way into our mouth. The base of the gum used to be made of a natural substance called chicle, which is a sap-like substance produced in the bark of a sapodilla tree. Chicle was prominent for its use in the production of chewing gum in the past. However, these days, only a few small brands still use it in their gum base. But still, the majority of brands have switched to adding synthetic rubber in the base of chewing gum instead. Apparently, the synthetic rubber is much easier and cheaper to manufacture, although so that doesn't discard the fact that you're literally eating rubber. When it comes to energy drinks, there is no drink as well known or consumed as Red Bull. The drink has sold over 5 billion cans since 2012 and is widely available in 171 countries around the world. With the name Red Bull, a lot of people actually thought that this energy drink included bull semen and bull urine as a core ingredient. Well, that has proved to be a hoax. However, those ingredients are probably even more healthier than what is actually in Red Bull. While Red Bull has a sugar intake that is less than most soda drinks, it contains up to 80 milligrams of caffeine, which is like drinking two cups of coffee. While that makes it why the drink gives us such a tremendous boost of energy, it also makes the drink incredibly addictive. Another harmful element present in the drink is its main sweetener, aspartame, which can produce cancer such as leukemia, which is blood cancer and lymphoma. The drink also contains synthetic taurine, an ingredient that is reported to include high blood pressure, strokes, and seizures. In conclusion, while it is safe to guzzle down a Red Bull every once in a while, try not to become too independent on it for your energy boost. Or alternatively, try some organic coffee or green tea instead. Number four, improper shampoo. Your hair serves very important roles in your daily life. Not only does your hairstyle allow you to express your identity as an individual, but it also protects your scalp from the ultraviolet rays of the sun. That is why it is so important to take good care of your hair, such as by washing and shampooing it regularly. The protein content of a shampoo is its most important part, since it provides hair with nutrients to stay healthy, strong, and breakage-free. Unlike most other shampoos, which derive protein 
seen from eggs or plants. Improv Shampoo takes it to a whole new level and uses bovine seminal plasma instead, also known as a ball semen. Improv claims that using BSP is not only a far more natural option, but it is also much better than any other protein derivative at nourishing your hair and promoting their growth. While that may be true, it still doesn't disregard the fact that you're literally using ball semen to wash your hair. And number three, we have McDonald's chicken nuggets. What do you do when you come home hungry but don't feel like rummaging around in the kitchen to cook something up? For most people, calling your favorite fast food chain and ordering in is one of the best ideas. Whether it may be Wendy's, KFC, Domino's, or any other of the multiple brands available, you can certainly look forward to a hot and delicious meal made from only the freshest of ingredients under the highest standards of safety and cleanliness. Well, say hello to mechanically separate chicken. The process of creating this chicken paste is by forcing the meat through a sieve under high pressures which turns it into this puree. This includes all parts of the chicken such as bones, eyes, beaks, namely things you don't want in your chicken nuggets. And to make it worse this paste is soaked with ammonia to kill any bacteria present in the paste before being artificially colored to get rid of the weird pink color. Most fast food outlets have been rumored to use this process of producing their chicken patties and nuggets however none more than McDonald's and their chicken nuggets. Number two, cigarettes. I'm sure most of you saw this entry coming. It's no secret that cigarettes are very bad for you. It's common knowledge by now that smoking increases the risk of lung cancer, can cause heart diseases like stroke, and even causes impotency. However, such obvious side effects, there are now over 1 billion estimated smokers in the world, out of which more than 6 million die annually. So what exactly is in these cigarettes that make them so deadly? Well, apart from nicotine, which we're all familiar with, there are several other substances such as acetone, a chemical used in nail polish removers, as well as arsenic, which is used in rat poison. Also worthy note to mention is the use of metals such as nickels and cadmium, which has been known to cause cancer in humans. And it only gets worse when you look at the complete list of chemicals and see that there are over 400 chemicals that are toxic to the human body. It really makes you wonder if that quick puff of the cigarette is really worth it in the long run. And number one, we have perfume. Yes, perfume, the exact same thing you spray on to make yourself smell appealing to others. If you're wondering what exactly is in those little color vials that you should know about, then don't worry anymore. In perfume is a little thing called amber grease, a waxy substance that is produced in the digestive system of sperm whales and is primarily collected from their vomit. This substance is used as a fixative in perfumes, meaning it helps the scents last much longer and also has a unique scent that can be described as sweet and earthy. This substance is quite rare, usually found in the abdomens of dead sperm whales, and a large chunk of it can fetch quite a pretty penny. In 2006, a couple in Australia found a 14 kilogram chunk of ambergris while walking on the beach, which they managed to sell for over $250,000. Nowadays, ambergris has been mostly replaced by synthetic ambroxion. However, there are still many perfumes that use this natural ambergris, although they'll cost you a good deal more than their synthetic counterparts. So that has been the top 10 products you will not buy after knowing how they are made. If you did enjoy the video or found it interesting, then why not go check out one of my other videos by clicking the video on screen now. Before you do that though, as always, make sure you subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications so you do not miss a single upload. But anyway, thank you very much for watching and I'll speak to you in the next video. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, there you go. You just can't trust anything on the market these days. What can I say? You know, you're better off trying to just accommodating your food habits at home. And if you have to go out, just be sure that it's a place where you know what the ingredients are like for example for example there's a burger joint around me that's owned by muslims and they use no pork ingredients on anything you know and i frequent them periodically but as for all of these other places i really seriously do not trust any of them but please leave your comments and subscribe. And if you can donate to my channel, please do. Peace, family.